They'll kill each other. <laughs> they fight and kill, but why? Are you sure they'll kill each other? They're going for the vein in the neck, this one here. The jugular. The jugular vein. I guess it's where the body's most vulnerable. Children, if I were you, I wouldn't be too worried. Dogs almost never kill each other. No wolves come to that. With men, it's different. Yes, but man's not an animal. Man's an animal, all right. Do I look like some kind of animal, do I? Yeah. To me, you look like a wild animal. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. As I was saying, we humans are animals. I admit we're different, but there are resemblances as well. Different but the same? How's that possible? Obviously, we have hearts, a nervous system, reflexes, instincts, same as animals. And animals are not machines, as was once supposed. Here's what the great Descartes said. An animal. It's no more than a machine with its cogs and its springs. We know exactly what it will do. Should I pull its tail, it turns its head and barks. Simply a machine. However, should I pat its head with my hand, it will wag its tail. There is evidently a spring-like thing linking head and tail. Pavlov, a Russian scientist, thought animals reacted ah, by reflex. Ah, it is dinner time. Hear the bell. Da, he is accustomed to having dinner when I ring this. And so all I have to do is ring this little bell and it rules by reflex. It is simple. Couldn't be simpler. No, the same is not as simple as all that. Animals are creatures. They're complex with nervous systems. Some are very intelligent. And to understand them, we have to study their behavior in their environment in nature, and that's called ethology. Here we well, go with the Greeks. Not at all. <laughs> For once, it won't be the Greeks. Ethology is a modern science. A question, Maestro. Who was it that figured out the ethology? Uh, now, let me see. Let me see. There was... Well, there, there was... Uh, besides, uh, anyway, the individual who best comprehended animals was surely the Austrian Conrad Lawrence. <laughs> Gloria, you're a big nuisance. Impossible to let you be out when I'm working. Go on now, back in your cage. Go on now. See you later. <laughs> Let's go, Gloria. In your cage. Excuse Mr. Blown, I'll change it. What? Oh, my goodness. Why did she do all that? <laughs> Quite a lesson, but I'll admit you've taught me something. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have put me in prison. I hadn't done anything wrong. Many inquisitive active animals cannot bear to be in captivity. We have to study these creatures in their natural surroundings. <laughs> Drive on, coachman. Well, Conrad, now you passed examinations, you'll practice medicine like me. I don't know. I'm not sure, Father. Huh? I'd also like to study animals. Oh, you'll be pleased then. The neighbors brought back a cockatoo, but it's very sad. Kept in a cage? Of course. That's why it's sad. Wah! Here's yet another animal, Conrad, as if you didn't 
have enough already. What will you do with it? Well, to begin with, I'll release it, and then we'll see. But no thanks, I'm not hungry. Now, Mr. Cockatoo, you'll learn about freedom. Go on. Forgot what it is? Good. <laughs> the behavior of many animals is similar in many ways to man's. This is clearly observed. Chick's not bad. She's got great feathers. Mm. Mm, what a handsome guy, big and strong. I wonder if he's with anyone. Mm. Oh, that one with her coy little come on. She makes me sick. I'll show her a thing or two. You got pretty eyes, sweetheart. Mm. Mm. Glad you like him. Mm. You're all right, baby. What is this? I saw him first. Hey, take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I call that no class. Who does you think you are? Oh. Hey, it wasn't my fault. You and me, it's for the rest of our lives, You right? bet it is. You see, Margaret, when jackdaws marry, it's for life, and they always stay faithful. Just like humans. Just as you say, Margaret. Yes, just as you say. Darling. Yes, dear. Hmm. Maybe we ought to think about making a nest? Hmm. Sure, sweetheart. Hmm. Hmm. We'll be fine here. This is my place. It's reserved. No, it's mine. Watch it. I'm bigger than you and stronger. Oh, you think so? Well, we'll just see about that. Conrad, they look furious. They'll tear each other to pieces. Separate them. <laughs> no, Margaret. They won't even hurt each other. You'll see. We'll have plenty of time to pick strawberries. You see, they're still here, but they're now really fatigued. Wait, you'll see. All right, you can have this place. I'll find a better one. I won. I won because I was bigger and stronger. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you see, and humans behave in the same way. We would frighten enemies, but we don't want to fight. We might be injured. There, watch them. This man stole my spade. No! He stole my pitchfork. He started it. It was him. No, it was him. You were a big liar. Me, I'm a liar. And you, you're a thief. You guys hold me back. Hold me or I might kill him. Hold me back or I'll make mincemeat of him. You little weakling, just try coming over here if you dare. <laughs> you hold me back. Hold on, I'm you, you come I'll here, you me. little... Ah, Doctor, I'm glad that you're here. You took your time. Calm down, young man. There's no hurry. <laughs> Up there? Uh-huh. Well, Doctor? Well, what, young man? The baby. Oh, yeah, the, the baby. Doing very well. Uh, the mother is, too. It's, um... Huh? Well, uh, it's a little lad. That's what you got. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, but... my pipe. Right. Let's go see the little jackdaws. Right. Uh. 
They should be flying by now. Yes, they're ready. You show them how. Yeah. Follow me, young ones. Now watch. You see? Like this. It's there, but they don't appear to be too worried. No. They don't realize it's an animal dangerous for them. They have to be taught. Oh, how? Look there. That is strange. The jackdaws don't recognize their enemies instinctively, then. No, they learn. The parents have to teach them. But they attack instinctively when they think one of theirs is being attacked. Here, watch this. Ouch! Did you see? The dark object I was holding in my hand, they thought that I was holding a bird. But now it's over. They trust me again. You see? No, animals are not simple machines. They can be sad or happy. They're able to learn behavior and even love. They may even develop a true affection for a person. You see, Alfred, these small goslings have known me since birth and follow me as if I was their own mother. As you see, these ducks don't accept me. Why is that? I think it's because the mallards have their own special call. I've observed that. They have to hear it at birth if they're going to adopt anyone. Here, let's give it a try. Come on. Quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 Poor Lawrence, and such a nice man, too. The man imagines he's a duck, but I don't suppose he's dangerous. Yeah, only better no, watch him. Uh, you can oh. never tell. It's incredible. Now that they're all used to us, we become like mothers. They follow us around. <laughs> Stop that! We're here! What are you doing out there in the middle of the birds? How do you expect me to shoot ducks? These ducks are tame. The geese, too. They're all mine. The jackdaws are, too. Birds are here for everybody. I got the right to shoot them. Wait. I wonder. Would you pass me my scarf there? All right. with the birds. Why'd they attack me? Oh, ouch. It can happen that a hunter is hunted by the prey he hunts. He's talking a lot of nonsense. All that don't make sense. In my opinion, it's a lesson worth learning. A lesson, eh? What lesson? <laughs> You're on my property. <laughs> <laughs> and my shotgun. Where's my shotgun? You'll pay for this. I'll see you in court. <laughs> <laughs> 
The police, the National Guard, the cavalry. I'll sue you. You just wait. You're both <laughs> animal lovers. <laughs> With all these animals around, I'm worried about the baby. I wonder, shouldn't we put the animals in cages? They go to their cages uh. at night. They have to feel they're free. But you gave me a good idea. It's splendid. And do you really think all the animals will go in? <laughs> no, they won't. But we certainly can. Oh, Conrad, the world's turned upside down. The animals are feeding the humans. <laughs> Oh, here. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, my Polly. I won't permit you to tangle my wool. There you are. Oh, what have you done with my wool? Oh! Look. I guess it's a new art form. Didn't I always say it? The Lawrences are a little bit crazy. He thought the chimney sweep was an enemy. He's going to be lost. That's him. Oh, hey. I'm pretty sure that's him. Oh. Uh, bird. Some bird. Oh. Don't worry, I'll get him. Oh. I told you he was not. He's drunk, he is. <laughs> Talk to birds. That far away, and the bird came to him. Bird never saw that. Look, his eyes show. People have all kinds of wrong ideas about animals. You take wolves. How many times do you hear these animals are wild and cruel? They're really quite different. They hunt only to survive. <laughs> oh, the little ones are hungry. We haven't eaten for three days. Leader, there's game over there. Gather the pack, all except the young ones. You see the one at the back? He looks tired. He's the one we go for. But be careful, they can kill a wolf with one kick of their hooves. Now, let's go softly. I won't kill you. You're a wolf like me, but obey the law. 
For the same reason dogs, which as you know are related to wolves, only very rarely kill each other. I've marked my territory. Now you stay out of it. It doesn't mean anything. This e e e e e whatever you said it was. Ethology. Yeah. <sighs> well, I wouldn't say it's science, because me too. I always look at the animals. Just the other day, I saw a great cat attack another one. Just looking, watching, it takes far more. You have to observe, compare, theorize. Then it's a science. You remember Democritus studied a grain of sand, and he broke it and deduced the idea of atoms. Galileo observed the moon, the sun, and the planets. The theorizers, he figured out the movement of the heavenly bodies. Newton, an apple fell on his head. And he comes up with laws of gravitation. Faraday liked watching lightning. And what was the result? The laws of electromagnetism. That is real science. Lawrence, too, observed in his case animals. He saw they had personalities. And he devised certain laws that apply to all sorts of animal behavior patterns, even applicable to humans. For instance, animals of the same species rarely kill each other. You win. But I'm not gonna kill you. You're a jackdaw, like me. <laughs> and with humans... Excuse me. Yes, with human beings, too, deep down, uh, in what still remains of that primitive brain we inherited from the animals, no doubt there is the command, you shall not kill your own species. But when life becomes really too difficult, when animals are confined to a limited environment, there are too many of them, uh, there's too little to live on, then their aggression takes over, with animals and with people. <laughs> But with humans, well, there's ambition and there's pride, and well, these feelings are unknown to the animals. It's become too easy to kill, letting others do it for us. Ah! Cowards can always come up with good reasons for bad actions. Killing, but not knowing who, anonymous, abstract. As Conrad Lawrence has tried to teach us, we should perhaps return to the good sense of the animals. 